Hallelujah. The atmosphere is already charged. And I am too sure that you are going home with something. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. Whatever vow that your destiny will not manifest will die this night. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. You are going to lift up your voice. Set my soul on fire. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Set my soul on fire. Jerosina prekleketa. Set my heart on fire. Lekotor jegonase. Breklikutu susono jekusi labaya. Set my heart on fire. Jekoteko liboruta menadisha. Ile prepe likutaros. Zezonake kurete ilorata. Janda barushi kute. Lezonia katali areta. Jezonako preklekuta elariana. Majonore dosete. Thank you, Father. For what this night we release, we give you praise and we give you glory. Whatever is a stumbling block in anyone's destiny, by the fire of prayer tonight, let the barriers be cleared. Lord, tonight, cause someone's destiny to open up. Whatever has been withheld from you, today to be surrendered to you. Any force that have vowed that your destiny will not count will be destroyed today in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If that amen is coming from you, it will touch heaven. Put your hands together for the Lord. And please be seated. On the way to your high places. And this night our focus. Is on you must engage. The power of kingdom advancement prayer. Newton taught law of motion states that a body will remain at rest until a relevant force. Say with me, relevant force. No destiny will advance how much more advance the kingdom until you generate relevant force. Seated with us here now, you are a kingdom. Jesus said, the kingdom of God is within you. And if that kingdom must advance, I want to tell you, you must be angry with your present state. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take it by what? I heard Bishop Abiyoye said, if you lack aggression, 
you cannot experience progression. People that lack aggression never make progress. Much more importantly, I want you to hear this. Kingdom advancement is a product of spiritual aggression. And the altar of prayer gives each and every one of us a comfortable platform to initiate his or our own progress. For a great door and effectual is open unto us. But there are many. Hear me? Advancing the kingdom require prayer momentum. That momentum must be sustained constantly. Why? The doors that are set for our advancement, there are contentions in the heavenlies. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Casting down imagination. Hear me? You don't advance in destiny casually. You advance in destiny forcefully. Prayer gives us the platform to initiate the forceful move that will bring your life, that will bring your destiny, that will bring the kingdom into a forceful progression. Every good plans God has for the kingdom, every good plans God has for your life, will require the power of prayer to advance it into reality. Knowing fully well that the altar of prayer is our choicest platform to initiate our advancement, no wonder Satan has one major mission to turn us into prayer dummies. Prayer dummies. Make us prayer lukewarm. Make us prayer lazy. And many of us, unconsciously, because of lack of spiritual understanding, are cooperating with Satan. Papa have always said this. You cannot advance the plan of God for your life in the energy of the flesh. For by strength shall no man prevail. If my life must go forward, if my family must go forward, if this church must go forward, we must constantly be on the prayer line. The prayer line is the hotline. You can't be on the prayer line and your life is not going forward. You can't be on the prayer line and the church is not moving forward. You may be weak in every other thing but not be weak in prayer. Not be weak in prayer. Kingdom advancement is a product of power. It's a product of power. And the altar of prayer is the breeding ground of prayer. It's the fermenting room of prayer. Prayer is fermented for, prayer, for power to be generated. You ferment prayer. You cook prayer. For power to be generated. The power that is generated is what determines the motion. Our life experience. The kingdom experience. Am I saying the truth? 
your engine has not been warmed your engine has not been charged and you want to fire no you will misfire you will do what if our life must advance the first thing that must happen for us we need what we call prayer passion tell your neighbor prayer passion prayer goes with a passion if you lack that passion there is no motion if you lack prayer passion you cannot generate spiritual motion oh lord thou art my god early will i seek thee my soul longed for thee my flesh tested after thee to see thy power as I have seen thee in this sanctuary. Where there is no prayer passion, there is no guaranteed motion. It's our, our passion for prayer that determines the motion we experience. And I'm glad to let you know this night, nobody can borrow you passion. Nobody can borrow you passion. You can always succeed in getting encouragement, but nobody can borrow you passion. There were ten virgins, five wise and five foolish. It got to a point. The other five, their oil got finished. And they felt that their other friends will be generous enough to borrow them oil. They said, no, the one I have is not enough. Go and buy. Go and look for where you will get let me say it again. Nobody can borrow you passion. And where your passion stops, that's where your motion ends. Some people only develop passion for prayer in January. You are only warming the engine to start. But after warming the engine, they switch off the engine. When passion is in place, look at the next thing that is going to happen to you. There's what they call the spirit of grace and supplication. Grace is released. Where there is no passion, God does not release the grace. I want to tell you now, people that love prayer, they don't only have passion, they enjoy the grace that goes with it. That's why we pray that the Lord will give unto us the spirit of grace and what? Supplication. He can't give it to you when you are not willing or desirous for it. I want you to hear this. Every one of you here carry a loaded destiny. Carry what? And so you must not end up a non-entity. You must end up a some entity. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. Nothing is permitted to lock you up in a box. When you have your breath, when you have life within you, the box must scatter. I said the box must scatter. The altar of prayer provides for us a platform 
to alter every contrary mystery that wants to delay that wants to keep our life our destiny on the same spot hear me by all means you must make progress yeah. i said by all means you must go forward yeah. if you are saying amen say better amen The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man make it tremendous power. Oh, I wish you came with that phone now. We'll have loved to peruse to get all the different versions. Make it tremendous power. So if prayer must be effectual, somebody must be consistent. If it must make tremendous power available, then there is what we need the staying power. Tell your neighbor you need the staying power. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. You are not an evil man. You are not an evil woman. But there is one condition like if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Psalm 66, I think verse 18. The Lord will not hear me. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will will not hear me. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So advancement in prayer require what? The staying power. Dr. Polenetio call it tenacity. Many of us are too casual for the progress we want. The essence for the tenacity is because of the assurance. All the days of my appointed time will I wait until my change come. Your change must come. I say your change of story must be announced. But you need to stay. I have not said to the seed of Jacob, to seek me in vain. Some people, they pray once, they get tired. They pray twice, they give up. They pray, they say they are not doing it again. If it's prayer, why hasn't God answered? You are still in the process of building up. Not all prayers get answered almost immediately. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The power needed for the delivery of the answer varies from one person to another. The power needed for the delivery of the answer varies from one person to another. So if you quit too soon, you have aborted the cycle. You have aborted the process. Even the outpouring of the Holy Ghost did not answer in one day. So why will you just suddenly quit? Jesus said, tarry ye in Jerusalem until you be endured with power from on high. As scripture said, and the we are they stayed continuously in prayer. They were steadfast in prayer, praying continually in one accord. Acts chapter 2. I think it should be verse 42. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. Studio, please check if you can get. 
And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayer. They continued. First day, nothing happened. Second day, no show. Third day, no show. Fourth day, no sign. Fifth day, sixth day, seventh day, ninth, tenth, eleventh. There was an outburst. Scripture says suddenly. Tell your neighbor suddenly. What they were doing was generating momentum. Power does not just come because you open your mouth. You must generate the momentum. And immediately they initiated their progress. I mean the process. Man, there was an outburst. I want to let you know you must break through in that area of your life. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. The effectual fervent prayer. Every prayer, every power that must be released for you must first of all change you before it changes the things around you. Scripture says we purify the sons of Levi. God is not just interested in changing things, but is interested in changing us. Everybody is desiring a change of 18, but not a change in himself. That's why many are suffering delay. They need a change in 18, not a change in them. Before God will change anything around you, He will first of all change you. From glory to glory, He's changing me. He's changing me. He's changing me. His likeness and image to comfort in me. The love of God shown to the world. Lord, is changing. He's changing me. From earthly things to the heavenly. His likeness and image to perfect in me. The love of God shown to the world. Hear me? Before God will change anything around you, He will change you first. Before God will drop a blessing upon you, He will prepare you for the blessing. The blessing you are not prepared for will never come. You must be prepared for the blessing. So when the change strikes in you, it becomes easy for things to change around you. It becomes easy for things to change around you. You can take a look at your life now. There were some things you used to struggle in prayer with. But now you don't struggle with those things. They cheaply enter your hand. Meaning that you have crossed a particular realm. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You have crossed a particular realm. You no longer pray too much. Before you know what's happening, the thing is already delivered. Now for you to assess the next realm, you must break a spiritual cloud. You must break what? A spiritual cloud. Every blessing of our life and destiny, they are lodged in what we call the heavenly places. Thanks be unto God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all manner of spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. If you can't assess the heavenly places, you will live empty in the earthly places. Our contentions, they are not here. They are in the heavenly places. So if you can't break through there, you live empty here. Before you experience adversary here, 
Your adversary has already been that is initiated spiritually. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? But scripture says, As soon as Zion travel, she brought forth. Hear me? Everything loaded in your destiny, you must bring them forth. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And prayer gives you the platform to bat your destiny. Destiny is batted in prayer. So the womb of prayer is the bat place for glorious destinies. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? So when you are pregnant with expectation, it is in the place of prayer they are turned into reality. Every one of us here now is pregnant with an expectation. Some people want, they want to marry before June. Some people want they must get admission this year. That amen is confirmed. I say again, that amen is confirmed. Some people they are here praying for God to open doors for their family. That door must be opened by fire. Some people, they are here praying that, Lord, open the door for my elder brother. Because if it is well with him, it will be well for me. God will open the very door. Hear me? You lack the power to stop your enemy because you are not interested in prayer. If you are interested in prayer, every enemy of your life and destiny must go down. I'm telling you the truth. Shall the, earth to make, shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? But as soon as Zion travel. Hear me? Another dimension of the staying power is what we call the traveling grace. If you can't travel, you can't prevail. The grace to travel is what brings out your persistent nature. If you persist, the devil cannot insist. Jacob said, I will not let thee go. Except you do what? I refuse. I refuse to let go. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? You hear me? Nobody may give you a chance, but prayer will give you a chance. <laughs> Nobody may like your face, but prayer will change your face. People can hold the key that pertains to your own, their own life, but prayer gives you the key to your own life. You don't have the key to my life. So your ganging up is not working. Because scripture says, surely they shall gather. But not by me. Anyone that gather against me shall fall for me. Likewise, as they are gathering for you, they will be falling for you. Yeah. Hear me? Advancement is not by negotiation. It's by brutality. If you refuse to clear the road, something will clear you. That's what prayer means for someone that wants to go forward. For a great and effectual door is open unto us, but there are many adversaries. Every time we are in the place of prayer, there is a dynamics 
of forces that are released in operation. Dynamics. A lot of things are taking place. Every time we are in prayer, the hand of God is at work. The angels, they are at work. The power of the Holy Ghost is at work. That's why prayer announces divinity for you. And when divinity is at work, your blessings, they are limitless. The altar of prayer is the meeting room between you and God. If God be for me. I just wish you to be against me. Because I will go forward. And for making a choice to be against me, you will be crushed. It's registered in the Bible. If God be for you. Who? Who? But somebody will write his name and enter. He will be crushed. Thou sayest to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand am I holding to subdue nations before him? I will open before him the two leaf gates. I will break in pieces the gate of brass. I will cut in sunder the bars of iron. I will open before him the two leaf gates. And I get shut up in short. So when you are in the altar of prayer, you are doing what we call a handover. God takes over. God takes over your life. He takes over your career. He takes over your family. And when God takes over, everything is over. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So your life is not permitted to suffer slow motion. All you just need is what we call the staying power. All the days of my appointed time will I wait until my change come. Hear me? The change you want to see this year, it must come. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. I say the change you want to see for your family must come. Yeah. The change you want to see your destiny must come. Yeah. The change you want to see your career must come. So the labor room of prayer is the room of spiritual control. You control what happens. I say to one, go, and they go. And to another, come, and they come. You hear me? Multitude are flowing into the church, not because this is the best place, but because there is a power that is telling them, Go to Living Faith Church, Lafia. There is a power. Jesus said, No one can come except the Father draws. It takes prayer for the hand of the Father to draw. It takes prayer for the hand of the Father to draw blessings into your life. It takes the hand of the hand of prayer to draw blessings into your life, into your family, into your business. So if it is working for the church, then it must work for your life. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. Now hear me well. Everyone that makes up their heart, not their head, to pray for the advancement of the church, it becomes easy for their life to be advanced. Becomes practically easy for their destiny to go forward. It becomes practically cheap for their business to experience favor. Why? Whatever God makes happen for the church, it makes happen for your life. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. That's the reason why all the testimonies we have been reading on this altar, they are proofs that it works. And whatever God says to one, he says to all. This same Lord is good unto all and richly bless all that calls upon his name.
So when praying kingdom advancement prayer becomes your daily delight, you become an unstoppable entity. How do I know? Psalm 114, let's read. Don't forget I told us that the altar of prayer is the meeting place between you and divinity. Psalm 114. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language. The next verse. Judah was his sanctuary and Israel his dominion. Verse 3. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. Verse 4. The mountains keep like rams and the little hill like lambs. The next verse. What ailed thee, O thou sea, that thou fled it? Thou Jordan, that thou was driven back. Now look at verse 6. Ye mountain that ye skip like rams, and ye little hill like lambs. Verse 7 now. Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. The next verse now. We turn it, the rock, into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of waters. When you stay strong in prayer, your mountains melt. Your barriers crash. Your oppositions are turned back. They see you and run. They see you in the physical, they will run. They see you in the spiritual, they will run. Why? There is a presence. Prayer brings for you a presence. Tell your neighbor the presence. What led thee, thou see that thou fled it. Thou Jordan, that thou was driven back. He said, tremble thou at the presence of the Lord. The Lord in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will deliver. The Lord in the midst of thee. <laughs> so every time God appears for you, he appears as the almighty. So prayer brings into manifestation for us the almightiness of God. <laughs> when he said unto Moses, what should I tell him? Tell him, I am almighty. Which one did they call almighty again? Pharaoh could not understand that language. Tell him, I am almighty. Bishop Abiyah said, there are mighty men but there is only one almighty. The almighty God will show himself in your life. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Now, I want you to know this. For you to maintain advancement, you must maintain a burning fire for prayer. A burning zeal for prayer. For you to maintain progress. For you to maintain success, you, you, you must maintain this. And when this is maintained, territory taking becomes easy. Why? When prayer fire is maintained, something happens. The realm of operation of the wicked is demobilized. Their antennas are switched off. Their network is disconnected. Why? <laughs> now, in physics, they, they call it electromagnetic waves. Am I saying something to somebody? Likewise, every time prayer is generated, it generates spiritual waves. When these waves are generated, nothing else works. Nothing else works. When America needed to do something drastic about Saddam Hussein, you may not need what I need to tell you now. They did something terrible. Technology past technology. Now, before they strike, 
you know, every country has radar to pick signal of, a, of an enemy encroaching their own territory. But what they did was to first of all demobilize their own radar, induce what they call physical darkness before they strike them. And when they strike them, after striking them in the air, that's why the prayer fire we generate generates what we call spiritual waves in the heavens. After they strike them in the air, that was when the ground force now entered Iraq and tear down every place. They could not understand. No wonder Paul said, he that prayeth in an unknown tongue altereth mysteries with his spirits. Let us at erade shata. Let dunari aketopa. Can you interpret it? You bring your enemy to the realm of confusion. When you bring them to the realm of confusion, you smite them. Tell your neighbor, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. He that prayeth in an unknown tongue altereth mysteries with his spirit. When we know not what we ought to pray, the spirit himself helpeth our infirmities by making intercession that cannot be altered by words. No wonder the enemy gets confused about you. All the things we are doing, we can't understand. The man is still moving on. He's still living well. Why? In the realm of the spirit, you have confused them. And angels are giving them slap. Koboko is pursuing them in the night. So prayer gives you a mystery that your enemy cannot handle. The wind blow it where it listed. You cannot understand where it's coming from. Neither where it's going to. So is everyone that is born of the spirit. Hear me? You are not a human being. You are a spirit entity. So no man can predict what will happen to you by June. No man can determine what will happen to you by September. No man can determine what will happen to you by October. The wind blow it where it listed. You don't understand where it's coming from. Neither where it's going to. The only thing you are seeing is the effects. Hear me and hear me well. When you switch over to that realm, you make it impossible for your enemy to know your next move. You make it impossible for your enemy to know the next thing that will, will take place. Why? That realm is the realm of their no understanding. No wonder, sir, he that prayeth in, in an unknown tongue understandeth not himself. But he prayeth. At that point, is the Holy Ghost praying for you. Because he prays the will of God into reality. He prays the will of God into fulfillment. And this is one of the advancing force every one of us needs. Every one of us. Every one of us. Many of you, before you leave this camp, you must be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. How many of us need this touch of baptism? You need to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Okay, pastor, take notes. We are going to conduct Holy Ghost baptism for them tomorrow. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. They have manipulated you enough. It is now time for you to manipulate them. Yeah. Oh, you think now? You think so now? Let them say they manipulate. Yeah. Me too, are they manipulate? Le kujina retayata, eroperi aketosa, shakoteto, eni aketaleta. As I release it, the Holy Ghost take over. He said, take cancer together and be broken in pieces. Diverse a strategy, it shall not stand. When they fire, you retaliate. 
Leriungle usha hande. Nekateta riate. The thing they shot goes back. Anyone shooting arrow at you. To stop the plan of God for you. Let the arrow backfire. Let the wicked plans backfire. This is one of the natures of Papa that many of us are still yet to understand. Papa can be walking. Don't greet him. If you greet him, you are in trouble. Just be passing on your own. When he's free to talk, you talk. If he's not talking, they are saying, Daddy bless you, I will look at you like this. As he's going, he's with paper and biro. He's contending with forces. Do you know the people that are desiring you to fail, they are more than the people desiring you to pass? Even people that are telling you, bless you. I'm not joking. The people desiring you to pass, desiring you to fail, they are more than the people desiring you to pass. What must you play into their hands? That's why Papa said, he said, if for the, not if for the wish of men, they will have succeeded in closing Canaan land. He said, that's why I need to be spiritually alert two for seven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Man, you need spiritual robustity to make consistent progress. May you never get to a point of spiritual bankruptcy. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. May nobody be used of the devil to quench your fire. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. I know today God will show some of you dreams and visions. We need the praying fire to experience revelation. They go from strength to strength. Everyone appearing before God. Paul said, and I went up by revelation. You shall call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. So every time you are in prayer, revelation must take place. Revelation must take place. God is a shower. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? God is a shower. He must show you things. Things that will come. Things that will take place. Things that you need to do. Steps you need to take. Enemies that you need to stop on their way. He will show you. When you enter this realm, you have entered the realm of noiseless breakthrough. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And that will be your practical experience this year. Amen. If you are saying amen, mean it from your heart. Amen. But for you to advance your life, number one, you must seek forgiveness to clear the barrier to sin. Forgiveness. If you have sinned against God, ask God for forgiveness. If you have sinned against man, ask the man for forgiveness. Don't be too proud so that you will be rejected by God. Scripture says God resists the proud. Why must I go and tell him sorry? No, I can't do that. At my level, you will die in that state. Kenneth Copeland said, unforgiveness limits the anointing. Nobody is too big for you to lock up in your heart. Forgive the person and let him go. It's not compulsory you must work with the person, but you must forgive the person. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Because if you, if you lock the person, now you they suffer. Are you the suffer? Stop suffering yourself. Stop suffering yourself. If you carry them in your heart, it will be a weight. Bad weight. Forgive him so that you can have God. If you don't let go, you can't have God. 
Let's go. Tell your neighbor, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A brother has disappointed you and it hurted you badly. Let him go. I know. I know. I know. I know. You have been helping a sister. Dashing her money. Assisting her. All of a sudden, she said, she need to do it again. Let's go. Now by force. Hear me, some disappointment is a blessing, you know. May you not marry a devil. May you not marry a winch. Let him go. Let her go. Let her go. If you talk of heart, you see this man standing here. I've been wounded plenty. But I choose to let go. My future is too important than for me to be, be mourning the past. My future is not in the past. My future is ahead of me. Tell your neighbor, let's go. As I'm talking now, somebody is squeezing. The Holy Ghost will koboko you this night. You must let go by fire. Don't come to see me in the office. Oh. You must let go this night. This is the only thing you came for. In the youth Easter camp. You must let go this night. As you are letting go. God is opening your door. Jesus said, forgive them that despisely use you and insult you. Let them go. Forgive them. Let them go. Let them go. And lastly, you must pray according to his word. You must pray according to his word. Every day is a day of offense. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Uh -huh. So, prepare your heart. Somebody will still offend you. Let him go. Tomorrow, another offense will take place. He let him go. Are you around saying now? You were not meant to be together forever. Let the person go. Letting him go is delivering your life and your destiny. If you don't let him go, do you know the spiritual accident that is waiting for you? Let him go. Tell your neighbor, let him go. Tell your neighbor, let her go. Hear me. Hear me. Listen, listen. Listen. I know what I am saying. Somebody is not comfortable with that statement. But I promise you this night, the Holy Ghost will convict you. Rise up to your feet. Are you ready to go forward? You are going to pray. Lord, fresh fire upon my prayer life. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Lift up your voice and pray. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. Fresh fire upon my prayer life. Whatever made me prayerless, Holy Ghost, revive me. Rekindle my prayer life. Liho Jacotane, Zesuli Hatoda, Jacle Pebredi, Zenandre Diata, Lecotaria de Nablero Shaka, Racoterindo Lobro Shikotare, Lesone Cupericata. Zetoria to peli danata la gede roba do ruse gede brega derete likatere duna shote plebo let him go lempaya gada 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 
J'écoutais ton Rizona de Rila Barada. Jérôme Bredi, elle est gagnée, 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 gagnée. J'écoutais Ria, gagnée, 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 gagnée. La bande de Bré côté côté. Jésus est côté l'État. L'État a décroché le pays. Zenondo Ikapa Liata Jesusilo Mekla Pebredi Isoteto Jenzoran de Gerede Fresh fire upon my prayer life. I refuse to be stopped. I refuse to remain on the same spot. I am breaking forth into a new realm. Into a new realm of blessing. Into a new realm of favor. Into a new realm of progress. Lerebosha. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. From today, no more spiritual lukewarmness. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Our spiritual roots, they are praying giants. Whatever wants to make you a dwarf in prayer, that yoke is destroyed today. By the power of the Holy Ghost, your soul is set on fire for prayer. Make that amen louder. Any demonic power called slumber that has been attacking your prayer life, let them be consumed in the name of Jesus. for you. From today, your destiny will go forward. Your family will go forward. The plan of God for your life will go forward. Nothing will be able to stop you. The passion you lost, I decree restoration for you. The zeal you lost, I decree restoration for you. From today, your heart will pant after the kingdom of God. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Breakthroughs you never knew before, they will begin to answer to you in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. Wave your hand unto God and give him glory one more time. Thank you, Asian of the East.